Are you a weather watcher in the out of doors? So are we. You'll want to stick around. Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. Today we're going to be talking about the weather and some of the signs that you can look for that will help you see what's coming. I remember one camp out on the East Coast where we were in a public campground. At about two or three in the morning, some of the campground hosts came through to tell us that we had severe weather coming our way and they told us that we had about an hour to get ready. Well, they were right down to the minute. It's amazing that our weather professionals today can combine the knowledge that they have with radar and give you almost a minute by minute display of what's coming. When I was young, I lived next to my grandparents on a small farm. And of course, my grandfather was a weather watcher. He used to watch the weather to make sure that he planted on the right days and he harvested on the right days. I remember one year when it was harvest time and grandpa would watch the weatherman and he was predicting rain. Grandfather listened to that, then took me outside and pointed and said, look over at this valley and see where the two mountains come together. If there are clouds in the bottom of that valley, then it's going to rain here. But if there are clouds above and you can see blue sky through there, it's not going to rain here. He understood the weather patterns for that area and was very good at it. We knew that we could harvest the next day. He taught me a few of the sayings that some of the old farmers used. He would point at the barn and say, watch the swallows, the birds that nested and flew around the barn. He said, when swallows are near the ground, there's a storm coming around. He was always right and I really didn't understand it until a little bit later I learned the science about that. What I later learned was that, of course, the swallows were insect eaters. And with a low pressure area coming through, that meant that the insects had to fly a little lower, they had moisture on their wings, and the air pressure was pushing them down. And so, of course, the swallows were flying low to catch the insects. The second part of that saying was swallows flying high, there's no storm in the sky. And really what that meant was there's a high pressure area, dry air, the air is rising, the insects had dry wings and they were flying higher. And so following the insects, the swallows would fly higher no storm in the sky. A lot of people are familiar with the saying, red sky at night, sailor's delight. What that really means is knowing that the weather patterns come from west to east. If you've got a red sky at night, that indicates that there's dry air taking dust particles up into the sky and you're getting some reflection of the sun, the last rays of the sun. And so the sailors would know that that dry air is going to continue on and come to them and that will be their their morning's weather. So red sky at night, sailors delight. Going the opposite direction, red sky in the morning, sailors take warning, really means that there's a low pressure area. You're seeing the dust in the air in the morning and there could be moisture behind it that's following from the west to the east. So red sky in the morning, sailors take warning. And here's a few from my Scoutmaster. When grass is dry at morning light, look for rain before the night. This indicates that possibly you've had a cloudy night, hasn't allowed the, the air to escape and moisture is gathering, you've got a low pressure area, and it could rain before the day is over. He would also say, when the dew is on the grass, rain will never come to pass. So cool, clear nights would indicate skies with high pressure. This would allow dew to form on the grass and leaves. As we're sitting around the campfire, my scoutmaster would also say, if the campfire smoke hangs low, watch out for a blow. The science behind that, of course, is if you've got a low pressure area that's holding the moisture down in the air, the campfire smoke's not going to be able to rise and you could be in for a wet night. And finally, my scoutmaster would point to the smoke of the campfire that's going straight up and say, if the campfire smoke goes high, no rain comes by. This, of course, would indicate a high pressure area, no wind and no clouds, nothing to hold down the moisture, no rain. It was gonna be a great night. Next time you're enjoying the out of doors, pay attention to the signs of the weather and see if your predictions match those of the professional forecasters. And if there are any outdoor skills that you would like to learn, please leave us a note in the comments below. We'd love to see them. Thanks for watching. Please join us again at OSME TV.